plan that I bought, you get something called Google Vault. Now, this really is kind of one of those weird kind of things on the side, but is probably one of the more important things that you've got because this is how you can retain data. So if you have a discovery or a legal process or something else that you need to do that requires indefinitely keeping data or delete it, you can set your data retention rules here. So what makes this really interesting, right, is that if you want to keep stuff, you need to make sure that stuff's actually kept. So you can actually go in if you want to go ahead and do duration is going to be indefinitely, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll create that rule and that will go ahead and keep all of the Gmail. I want to keep all of their drives indefinitely. Um, I want to go and do I really want to keep their groups? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep their groups indefinitely because remember purge only deleted messages. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Um, We'll go ahead and we'll keep that indefinitely. Again, I'm small, so I'm going to keep a whole lot of data, right? Um, no default retention on chat. Now, chat's really kind of important because things happen in chat that wouldn't otherwise happen, right? So chat is really important to do. Meetings. I actually want to keep all of my meeting data as well. Um, I understand the following, right? We need to try meeting retention rules. So we'll go ahead and we'll set that on later on. And then we'll go ahead and we want to set our sites um, indefinitely and we'll go ahead and do that. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, right, is setting this up is because Vault, again, this is where you keep all of your discovery data. So now I've literally got this thing hooked into keeping all of the information that I've got. And because I have that process, I can go ahead and now set up other things. Right now I can set up custom rules. So if I want to like go ahead and choose a service, that I want to keep right we already have all our service now if I have a service and I have been given a, a person that I need to monitor all right so I have a uh, thing Gmail choose where to apply your rules so scope so we'll go ahead and we'll continue um, choose an organizational unit senior leadership is being sued so we want to keep all of our senior leadership from date sent to end date right and then terms query terms so anything that we need to do so let's just do a start date um, let's do March 17th to March 31st query terms and we just want this to be Dan right and we'll do that so now I have a rule that for everything I send from the 17th to the 31st is retained indefinitely now this is stuff I can peel off later and hand off to a lawyer this is a really powerful tool for going ahead and creating very specialized kinds of things to pull data across that process. Kind of cool. Now your settings on this one too, right? Meet retained by drive rule and retained by sites rule. And that's okay, right? So your drive rules, we don't have data retention drive rules. So we don't have any of that going on right now. So when I'm turning on the meeting, I can go ahead and retain it forever. And I would want to do that. Now, Vault is also accessed a little bit differently, right? So it's through vault.google.com. Um, if you've got those licenses put together for you, that's great. But this is absolutely a side site to what you're doing here, right? And it just really just kind of gives you a bunch of rules. You can go ahead and you can run some reports. You can see all of the things that were done for that particular account email address. So let's do me. All right, check and see. Uh, let's go ahead and select all. And then what we'll do is we'll download it as a CSV file. And I'm going to go ahead and it's going to open up in Word probably. Oh, no, it's going to open up in numbers. So hold on. Woo. So again, so here's everything that was done that I did. Here's every action that I have taken on this whole thing. So we go back and we audit everything I've done. This is lawyer ready. You can go ahead and pull this straight on over. You get your milliseconds, your dates, your action. What did I exactly do? And you got it. You can go in and you can see what I pulled, what I did, how I did it, um, and exactly what the details were around what I just got done doing. This is great, again, for our <laughs> discovery, right? And we gotta go from there. It's just another way of doing it. You can actually put on a domain hold. You can go user holds. Right. So if you want a user hold, you can go ahead and pull everything up or by group. So see someone is being harassing in a group. You can do this if someone is being harassing in a user hold or has a very specific legal thing that they want you to come back and check because the person's been doing like really crazy stuff on their company account. 
you pull all this stuff in. And again, these reports are actually really kind of handy. Um, you can search and export data, and then you can again just go ahead and review the holds on Audit Vault activity. So really important side tool to what you're doing here. And again, the URL is different. It's just vault.google.com. Man, make sure you're playing with this one. Make sure you're actually in there and doing and setting up those retention rules. This is probably one of your more interesting things to do. And it kind of follows not just under what you get for your administration side, but it also falls under what you need for your security and audit and legal side and compliance side as well. So this is kind of one of those dual use kind of technology systems. But definitely make sure you've got this thing going all the time. All right, that's it for Google Vault. Again, really straightforward. Just make sure you're going to vault.google.com and then go ahead and set your retention rules because by default there are none. And then go ahead, save it all, see what ends up happening. If you're running out of space, go ahead, feel free to cut back on whatever you need to cut back on. But if you do have a legal discovery, if someone is suing the company or someone is like going after someone in the company for whatever legal reason, this is where you go. And if someone gets fired and you didn't catch them fast enough and they deleted all their data, this is where you can also pull that data back and reuse it. So you can actually restore data from here if someone goes out and deletes something that they shouldn't have because they got really angry. So again, this is probably one of your better products for your backups and retention and everything else. All right, that's it for this section. I'll see you in the next one.